Leviathan here, as a child I've always fantasized about driving and I can't believe that I can actually drive a supercar. However, my dream come true has resulted in a lot of envy and hatred. So today I'm going to talk about what my supercar experience has taught me about people. So let's go for a cruise. I need my soul to scream out. Boy, I never dreamt that I would actually be driving a supercar in real life. My obsession started from a very young age where I would take these little dinky cars and just line it around a rug and come up with all these different stories for hours and hours. And as I started to grow up, my obsession moved to video games where I'd spend countless hours again coming up with all these different scenarios, going on road trips, testing out top speed. And now I get to do that in real life. It's an incredible experience. And I still can't believe that I drive a McLaren 650S because it is a childhood dream come true. I know what it takes. I need my soul to scream out. I'm a dreamer, dreamer. I need to choose, need to decide. While I'm extremely happy with the fact that I can drive my dream car, others, on the other hand, are not. It's also opened my eyes to what people are really like. There have been quite a few positive reactions, but, and I think the majority of folks, specifically the non-motorheads, really hate seeing a supercar. I've realized that when people see a supercar, they feel so much hatred and so much offense towards it. It's like if me owning a supercar was a spite on them. Some of the reactions really just prove how much people hate a supercar. You really have to have a lot of hate towards someone to spit on them or to extinguish your cigarette on them. And I really don't think you should judge people for how they want to live their life. I do my part to help out the community and I feel I should be able to enjoy the fruits of my labor. I don't have a family to raise and for me the way I really enjoy my life is through my passions and my hobbies. I love kiteboarding, I love driving, I love traveling, I love music. Those are some of the things that really make me me. And I feel that I should be able to live my life the way I want without all of this judgment and hatred from others. That being said, my passion for cars has always been a very big secret because society sees supercars as just a status symbol and nothing more. And it's just the generation we live in. And yes, there are quite a few people that buy cars just to show off their status. But not all of us do. There's quite a lot of us that just enjoy this experience. Whether you're into supercars or not, whatever your passion is, you should feel free to live your life the way you want. So despite all of the hatred, it's definitely not going to get in the way of how I live and experience my life. And driving a supercar has really showed me how much envy and hatred there is in this world. So haters, keep hating. Until next time, thanks for watching. Dreamer, dreamer, dreamer. Dreamer, dreamer, dreamer. Dreamer, dreamer, dreamer. I need my soul to scream out.